Hello! Welcome back to Harry Has a Cocktail, episode 21. Today is a very, very special episode because I have a guest star. Probably the most important guest star ever that you'd ever want to have on a TV show. And that is my husband, Sean! Hello! 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 And here we are! This is our apartment! Yay! <laughs> Together. Together again. What should we talk about? Well, let's talk about booze. Yeah. Booze, and we're going to talk about all of, a lot of the things that I realize um, that over the course of the 20 episodes so far is all of the stuff that Sean has bought for me. <laughs> things He's here. He's going to buy for today. it because it's all booze related. It's just booze related. <laughs> God, it makes me sound like a, just a drunk. No, no, no. We're not drunks. See, Although we not. might be a little drunk right now. Well, because we had to test the cocktail that I'm going to make today. We're going to make today. You which created it. I created it. The drink is called a a cucarita. Cucarita. This is a drink that's been in development for several years. Started as a cuctini. Yeah, it started as a cuctini, but now we're making something called a cucarita. We've kind of refined it over the years. This is the first time you're doing a drink that you invented. Yeah, this is a major episode. This is a first. Not only because it's one of my drinks, but because you're here. That's exciting. <laughs> it's so exciting, right? In our kitsch. Sean's gonna be my assistant slash victim. <laughs> <laughs> Do we need to explain how cucarita is spelled? Cucarita. C U K A R I T A. C U for the cucumber. Yes. K K A K for the vodka. And Rita because it has lime in it. It kind of has a little bit of a. It's kind of a margarita. It's, a, it's your version of a margarita. Yeah, it's a it's a version of a mar of a margarita, but made with vodka. It's made with cucumber vodka. Mmm. Here is what is going to be in a cucarita. Crop. Organic Cucumber Vodka. It's fantastic. Mm -hmm. We have been drinking this for a couple of years now. In fact, when Sean and I first met, you know how much I am a, a, I'm a gin drinker. Sean and I both are. We had gin martinis at our wedding. That was our featured drink. When we first met, we did not drink gin. No. You especially didn't. No. He was a vodka drinker, but I introduced him to the world of gin. Mm. It's never been the same since. <laughs> this stuff is it's delicious. It's delicious. It's delicious. <laughs> yeah, this is basically an organic cucumber vodka. I'm not going to read anything about it, so I don't even need this. Um, so, uh... This vodka is... He's so handsome, isn't he? Look how handsome he is. I mean... Can't put that on your show. God! Crop cucumber vodka. <laughs> We're going to have lime juice, watermelon... Mmm... Yes, and we're gonna use fresh watermelon rather than watermelon juice. Can you even get watermelon juice? Sure can you, you can. buy watermelon yeah, juice? Yeah, you can buy really? watermelon juice. Okay. Sure, sure you can. I don't know about in the hinterlands, <laughs> meaning outside of New York City. <laughs> right. <laughs> but yes, here in Manhattan, you can get watermelon juice. This drink would be more appropriate for the summer months. Absolutely. Because I, I wanna use fresh watermelon. So watermelon, and we're gonna use some agave to sweeten it up. It's gonna have a salt rim. That's it. That's all the ingredients, That's right? It. It's delicious. It's really good. We've already You're gonna had love it. three. No, we've each had two. Right. <laughs> two and a half. Well, You've been making the recipe yeah, this afternoon. Perfecting the recipe. Perfecting the recipe. Yeah. I mean, these are the sacrifices I make for-, for It's been for, a really hard day. So, should we make- do, uh, Let's make but it. But I wanna, I wanna explain some things here. He got me this bar towel. He made me this bar towel well, on Zazzle.com, which you can oh, make a okay, lot of amazing yeah, things. Zazzle.com. Zazzle.com. It's the coolest website. You can go and make, custom make anything. Almost anything. And where'd you get this yeah. pattern? I found it online. It's a blueprint of a cocktail, and um, we saw it at uh, dear friends of ours. Devin and Steven. Devin and Steven. Hi, Devin and Steven. I just decided I wanted to... He had a sort of cocktail-themed Christmas this year. Yeah. So this was a part of his Christmas present. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Oh, great. Thank you. you want? I'm your assistant. I feel like I should have... It, it should be it should be have an apron little apron we're gonna make it in a cocktail shaker ooh, ooh, skull shaker this oh, it's so this exciting to be here for that moment uh, right ooh, skull shaker ooh, 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 ooh. Right? skull shaker so we're gonna make enough for two drinks today but I will give you the individual recipe here on the show but we're gonna make two 
so that we can right. both have one. Obviously. <laughs> I um, mean, no, does the word see. duh mean anything? <laughs> no doy hey mean anything to you? How about I just watch you and talk about how cute you are doing it? Okay. You want to switch sides? Sure. What I'm going to do first is put together the lemon juice. We're just going to put together the lemon juice. I'm gonna, actually, it's lime juice. It's actually lime juice. So here he goes. He's putting together the lime juice. Yeah. He's now cut a lime. <laughs> Oh, we're gonna have uh, like individual he's, he's commentary. Cut two limes now. Okay, all right, yes. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do something while yeah, I'm here. That's true. Well, I just said you could do something. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm kidding. You know what I'm gonna do first, actually? I'm going to model the watermelon. It's gonna so, model the watermelon. First. Basically, each drink is going to take a little square of watermelon. This is the amount that I would use for one drink. I'd say that's sort of a square inch. Square you think inch? so? Maybe a, a two inch square. A two inch square of watermelon. Mm -hmm. You're gonna put it in your empty shaker and then muddle it. And look at this! I bought a muddler! Muddler! Now, I need to give a shout out to my friend Michael. Michael Kaloon bought me. Bought me? I think this was his. This really, is his muddler really great. that he gave me. So that thank you, like Michael. It's been passed down. Like I know, through the generations. It's like it's, an ancient muddler. And it's an ancient muddler from his people. Right. Think oh, I'll use the it. I'm gonna muddling it's it seen. Oh. <laughs> well, here's what you do. You put the you put the watermelon in there, and then you just basically muddle it. Muddling is Have really you ever just a fancy anything? word for just smush. Smush it. Really, it's just you just smush it. Have you yeah. ever muddled anything? I have muddled before. Yeah. And it's not hard. You too can muddle. What's your experience with drinking, Sean? My experience with drinking? Yeah, like what's your go-to drink? A uh, gin martini. Yeah. yeah. With yeah, olives. I mean, with olives. Uh, but yeah, I love a gin martini up, uh, just a tiny splash dirty. Dirty means with the brine. With the, of the brine. And, juice yeah. the, but the, I don't. The, I the don't like it when the brine overpowers the taste of the gin. It's more enjoyable when you can actually sort of experience the gin over the over the brine. I agree. And in general, if you could taste the spirit, as opposed to the the as mixer. As opposed to the mixer. Yeah. Smart. Yeah. How's that muddling coming? It's good. It's muddled. Two pieces of watermelon in there have been muddled. Can you see it? Gross. Can you see it? You can kind of, yeah, there, it's a little in there. Okay. Look at this. Mmm. Who bought me this? Where did you get that? <laughs> yeah. He bought me this for, my, for our anniversary. Three years, married. Yeah. This was for the leather anniversary. <laughs> so, each drink is going to take three quarters of an ounce of lime juice. Look, I've got my lime squeezer. I feel like I'm blocking your light. There's no light. There's, There's no light over there. Right. We need that, a light over I here. I told you that was my problem. You okay. should ask your husband to put a light over here. I know. What hell does he do? It's hard to get good help these days. I know. That's a good honeydew. Do you know what a honeydew is, audience? Honey, will you do this? Honey, honey will you do, do that? that? That's a honeydew. I love a honeydew. He loves to do a honeydew. I do. I, yeah, I do. Back to the drink. We had some muddled watermelon in here, and now we're going to add, each drink is going to take Three quarters of an ounce of lime juice. Ready? Here he goes with the lime juice. Three quarters. Ooh. And now for each drink, you're going to add a quarter of an ounce of agave syrup. This is easy to forget, so don't forget. Don't forget it. A quarter of an ounce each. Quarter. Ooh, syrupy. And next, per drink, three ounces of cucumber vodka. Cucumber vodka. Ladies and gentlemen, he is pouring the cucumber vodka. There he goes. That is one and a half. Three, Three, four, four and, and a half. half. Four and a half plus one and a half is six. six. Fantastico. Fantastico. Now we are going to fill our shaker with ice. Oh, I get to do. I get to be here for the ice thing and the shake. I know. That's what. That's the. That's the ice thing. The shake is the ice thing. That's what you meant. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and because you are my guest star. No, no, no. I can't. No. Do You've got to do the shake. I always do the shake. No, no. I want you to do the shake, and I'm going to shake behind okay, you. Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. Ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. We're gonna use these anniversary glasses mm -hmm. that somebody bought me for my anniversary. Those are really cool. Spoiler alert, <laughs> Sean bought these for me. <laughs> now, salt the rim mm. of our glasses. So here you see, there you go. Salt mm. rims, just half of the glass. 
fresh ice in the glasses. We're going to double strain the drink. Okay, double strain. Double strain because it's really hard. Ah, double strain. Yeah, and yeah. here's my strainer. Why do you think I'm double straining, Sean? Well, I think you're double straining because you've got a lot of muddled ingredients in there and you don't want to end up with, you know, watermelon pulp. Exactly. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. It's really looking good. Oh, really I spilled it a little bit. Oh, precious, precious drink. I know. Oh, but what about our garni? Our garni? Sorry, some meat fell out of the refrigerator. <laughs> I hate when my meat falls out of my refrigerator. Me too. I made some pretty nifty garni, and what I decided to do was this. I'm going to take a lime, put it there on the edge of the glass. Then I'm going to take this piece of watermelon that I used my melon baller, and then a piece of cucumber. And I'm gonna stab it through the lime oh. and rest it on the end. That's beautiful, Harry. Isn't that good? Well done. By the way, I don't think garni is actually a word, is it? I it is now. Well, it's a word that I learned from, if I may, Yeah. from my dear friends, uh, our dear friends now, Doug, Fru, and Bill Brown and Steve Hanger. Oh. And whenever we would be over at uh, any of their houses, but Doug's house in the country making drinks. I think at some point it was decided that the plural of garnish, garnish. was garni. Garni. So Makes sense. These are garni. These are garni. Look yeah. how pretty those look. It's beautiful. Oh my gosh. Aren't you so excited about drinking Can't these? Wait to drink it. Let's drink them. Okay. Oh, we're going up here. Oh, yeah. okay. Let's try the cucarita. Cucarita. That's so good. It's good, right? It's really Do you think refreshing. it needs the agave syrup? <laughs> I do. It's not too sweet. <laughs> Should we tell them? Yeah, let's tell them. So, tell them. when we made the drink, I forgot to add the agave syrup because I was so mesmerized by his beauty. I get that <laughs> all the time. So I many, had a nickel. <laughs> so many bartenders, every time they're making him a drink, they're like, oh my God, I forgot to add something. Yeah, like, kept like staring at me. Ingredients go everywhere. But we went back and we so added sure. the agave and now we're tasting it again. And I think it needs the agave. I think it needs the agave The agave well. just adds like a nice little sweetness so, to it. Let's switch back. Performed, hmm, okay. Might have performed a little bit of editing deceptiveness when we slipped that, adding the agave in, but yeah. we actually forgot. And, I forgot. And then, and then we went back and added it in later. It, With the miracle it, of it, modern miracle day editing, editing, as opposed to how they used to edit YouTube videos back in the olden days. They had to, they actually like had the, to like the, splice the film together. Yeah, the way the cowboys yeah. uploaded their YouTube videos. It took so much longer. So much longer. Yeah. What would you say about it? It's very what? It needed to be called something like a margarita because yeah. it tastes along the lines of a margarita, but it's weird because it's vodka. It's the lime and the agave. It's really refreshing. It's so good. Yeah. There's something about the combination of cucumber and watermelon that just work yeah, extremely well together. Yeah, the cucumber and well watermelon together. and lime, it's just really, it's delicious. Really good. And it's definitely a summer drink. Summer drink. It's fun, right? It looks so pretty and good. Okay. What else can we tell them before we go? Happy summer. Yes. Oh, well, my nephew's here. Oh, yeah. My nephew, Zach, is visiting with his girlfriend, Evie, and he was going to make a cameo, but um, they they are actually staying over in New Jersey, which is right over there, mm -hmm. and um, they uh, they didn't come into the city today. But so, I don't know. Maybe, no maybe there'll be some kind of sneaky editing, you know. Like if it appeared, of, like, right now. Yeah, like right now, just all of a sudden... And, and then, then he came back. Yeah, and, and then like he just for no reason at all. That would be. Thanks for being on the program, Sean. Thanks for having me on the program. We'll see you next time on Harry as a Cocktail. Yeah. Please subscribe to the videos. Yes. Please write me comments, questions about making this. If I did anything stupid or wrong, don't let me know. I don't want to know that kind of stuff. But if you have questions or comments about how delicious this drink is after you make it, please let me know. Absolutely. And uh, cheers. Cheers. Happy summer. Cucarita. Cucarita. Eh.